Hey guys, in today's video, we are gonna check out some of the villages here in Newton. There are 13 total. We're gonna check out three of those. We're gonna look at some houses. We're gonna talk about some recent sales, a new development that's happening here, and why so many call Newton home. It is the fastest growing small town, according to Wallet Hub in 2023. So stay until the end and let me know if you agree or disagree with that. Let's go. So the first area we're coming to is Newton Center. And as you can tell by the name of it, it is the center of Newton. You have public transportation, you have the Newton Tea Strop on the Green Line, you have shops, eateries, bakeries, clothing stores, yoga studios. It is literally the Mecca of Newton. And today we're visiting one of the recent sales uh, here in Newton Center. It was on the market for seven days. It's over 3,500 square feet interior beautiful colonial, completely ready, move-in ready. It was on the market for seven days. It recently just sold a little above 2.5 million. Now, not every house in Newton Center is 2.5. Some are less and some are more. We also not only have single family homes, but we also have multi-unit, multi-family homes. The one thing I can say about Newton Center is that if you have kids that go to school here and this particular area is attached to uh, Newton North High School and the elementary school is Mason Rice. This is a very walkable street, very drivable, and it is very much in demand. So if you love this community, you're going to want to see all of it. And it's also interesting. This is where the uh, marathon goes by as well. So if you're a local, this looks familiar. If you're not a local, this also looks familiar. April 15th is the Boston Marathon. And if you are looking to move to Newton and you are looking to move to Newton Center, you get to enjoy this once a year. They close off Commonwealth Avenue and this is the marathon route that'll take you all the way into Boston. It starts in Hoppington. This is called Heartbreak Hill. It's the halfway point. Starts to go and climb up here. And here we are at Four Corners. It's one of the busiest plazas and it offers a diverse range of Dunkin' Donuts. You can get your wine and spirits here. And it's our kids' favorite pizza place right here. Everyone goes here after school on Wednesdays. And as you can tell and hear, it's quite hustling and bustling. It's an ideal location because it's right next to Whole Foods, Walgreens, and this new development that we're about to go check out called The Beacon. One of the most anticipated developments here in Newton is right here. It's called The Beacon, in between Wabin and Newton Highlands. And this has probably been the most anticipated new build in the area for a long time. It's gonna be delivered in spring of 2025. It's gonna have one bedrooms and two bedroom floor plans. And for the longest time, we couldn't really kind of figure out what was actually gonna happen. It used to be an old Chinese restaurant, obviously on a very large lot. And it was speculation for the longest time if it would be rentals, but it's going to make 34 happy homeowners here in Newton where the housing is very much in demand for building. So we're really excited to see what's gonna happen. In terms of location, you can't get any better. It's located in four corners. You've got a Whole Foods next door, Walgreens. You're a 12 minute walk to Newton Center, a three minute car ride to the tea stop at Wobbin Square. You've got Starbucks, pizza, Thai food. I mean, it is definitely, it's, go, it's on a busy street. I will say that, but you have amenities like you're gonna have dog walk, you have a gym, you're gonna have parking. Anyway, I'm excited about this one. The price ranges are gonna be between $1 million and $2 million. And if you're looking to downsize and you don't wanna be shoveling snow anymore, this could be a great alternative. Or if you're moving here for the first time and you're moving to Newton for schools, this could also be a great option in spring of 2025. If you want more information, you can put it in the comment below and I'd be happy to send it to you. And where I'm standing right now is called the Sledding Hill. It's on Pleasant Street right here at Mason Rice uh, Elementary School. You can come out here any day of the winter and you will see a ton of kids out here. Actually, this was like one of my kids' first introduction to New England was coming on these hills and sledding. So if you have kids, go to Mason Rice, 
walk around Newton Center. I mean, it's an ideal location. Variety of price points in terms of housing stock, variety of style of homes, and definitely a very sought after neighborhood and close to the T-stop right here in Newton Center. Anyone who lives in Newton or is thinking of moving to Newton is going to love coming to Cold Springs Park. It is situated between Robin and Newton Highlands and it is a great spot for picnicking, uh, taking walks in the woods, take your dog. They have a farmer's market basically June through October, uh, tennis courts, soccer fields, basketball courts. It is a haven. And here's my thoughts about the Whole Foods here. It may not be the biggest, but it's definitely the mightiest. And it is always packed. I love the people who work here. Uh, I, the service is amazing and yeah, but it is always packed. It's probably one of the busiest Whole Foods. I think I remember someone telling me about that. So if you want to live in Newton, you'll have this Whole Foods. So the weather is already starting to change here. Uh, so right now we're looking at an area called Newton Highlands. I would call this more lower Newton Highlands. It's really close to Boylston. You can get easy access to 95, um, easy access to Wellesley and Brookline. Two minutes from uh, the T-stop in Newton Highlands. House ranges, house prices in this area, in this particular area, range for about one and a half to 1.8 million. A recent sale on this street was a three bedroom, two full bath, two half bath originally listed for 1.3 sold for 1.5 now i would say for a lot of people that sounds like a big number but when you come into newton you'll probably see that that's actually um one of the lower price points so consider that when you're thinking about moving to this lovely area of newton so in today's video, we highlighted a few different communities. And one of the things that I find out a lot about when I start talking to people relocating here is they don't know enough about the area that they're looking at, in this case, Newton. And so I hope today's video was super helpful for that. When you're relocating to a new area, you just wanna be able to understand what the price points are, what the feeling is, the lifestyle, how close it is to public transportation. So I hope in today's video that was super helpful. I'm Katherine Krenberg. I'm a Greater Boston Area Real Estate Agent and I am based here in Newton. And if today's video was helpful, let me know in the comments below. If you want more information, you can uh, tap on the relocation Newton guide down below and I'll see you on the next video.